fry low she lies. What you're doing is what I should be doing. Okay. I should be the one doing this video and sending to Uber, not you. Do it. Because not you. You cannot just you can ask me. What did you I cannot do? just ask me where am I? What am I, am I, I a fool? What did I do? You said where am I? Exactly. So I can't ask you where you are. You cannot. Do so I have no to greet. greet? Why you have should to, I greet you? Greeting is necessary in anywhere. Why do I have it's to greet necessary. you? It's necessary. Why do I have to greet you? Oh, because I'm a driver. You can't Who greet me. Who says so? Because I'm a driver, you cannot you say good dumb. morning. You are dumb. You are dumb. You are dumb. You are very, you very are dumb. You are the one that is dumb, not me. You are very dumb. You cannot and say good morning. I, why should I say? Why should you be the one to demand that I say you, good morning? I need it. You need it. You need it because it is that good if, morning that will feed you. If I was the one that messaged is you that like that, good morning that will feed you. No, uh, see. It is that good morning that will okay. feed you. Okay. I've been riding Uber. Do you know how many years I've been riding Those Uber? Those are dead. They don't have. They Do you don't, know how many they years I've been ride. riding Uber? They that don't know their rights. They, they uh, don't okay. know. Okay. Is it that I know you your rights? You can't just ask me where am I? Is it that because I'm not. I'm not nobody. I'm Unfortunately, nobody, right? what is wrong with you is inferiority complex, and you have just demonstrated it. So I'm nobody. You cannot say you are the one who is calling yeah. yourself a nobody. So I, I, I don't action, demand, I don't have a this respect action, in my own office. This action that you are so doing. So you can come someone office and young you, man. You, can just, you see this you action? Cannot, eh? This action that you are doing. You just can come proves, to someone uh, uh, office that, that you have. You Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bridget Ekpo. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys tonight this um very funny but yet annoying video. And uh, what you've just watched is about uh, this Uber driver that picked up this lady, and apparently the lady asked him, "Where are you?" So that that to him is an insult, and um, he started recording her. He didn't record himself; he recorded himself, um, the lady alone. And uh, you can hear the argument going on there. The driver is, is uh, saying that, "Oh, you are looking down on me because I'm a driver. Uh, you are asking me where am I? Why should you be asking me?" And then, and the most ridiculous thing I, I don't know if I've ever heard anything so ridiculous in my life is he said the lady did not greet him. <laughs> Oh, oh God! When people complain all the time, it's the leaders, the leaders. I often tell them, I say, the leaders are from the people. It's the people that produce the, the the leadership comes from the people. That's why you see, from local government to state to the state assembly to the federal government to any level of leadership position that you find in Nigeria, there's always issues of corruption, of indiscipline, of all this mess that is going on in our country, and then. The ordinary people will be complaining, our leaders, our leaders are very bad, our leaders are very bad. But I keep telling people, it's not leadership. It's not leaders. It is Nigerians because Nigerians are the ones that have the problem. Some Nigerians are, are, are just, I don't know. Okay, look at this Uber driver now. The lady said, where are you? You see the way he flipped it. And, you know, a friend of mine who sent this to me from Nigeria has been telling me about, you know, the issues that... People have been having with Uber drivers in Nigeria and all these taxi uh, company, not only Uber driver, all these new mobile uh, app uh, company like uh, Uber or Taxify and all other ones. I don't know. For instance, issues of using mobile phone. You see a driver that is driving you. He will be on the phone. He will be calling. Sometimes he will call and, and he will be on the phone. Not, not uh, what's it called? Not uh, oh, using headphones. So he will have the phone on his hand and be driving you in those dangerous roads, you know, dragging traffic with Okada drivers and other road users with one hand. And then, or he will be on the phone. And it's not just a quick call, you know, when someone has to make an emergency call. No, they will be on the phone and be, and be chatting with their girlfriends for several minutes. Or the most scary one of they will hold their phone and be and be sending text messages or 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 checking their social media while they are driving you. Um, when I lost my car and I didn't have a car, I was using a lot of taxis in London to go around, and I used some of these um you know um all these online taxi companies that I was using a lot of them. When you get there, the, the drivers, they are so respectful. Some of them will come down. If you have any bag, they will open the booth for you, help you put the, the, the bag inside. They will greet you. They will ask you, how is your day? Sometimes I don't want to talk. I did a lot of vlogging while I was in the, in the taxi. Sometimes when they see that you are pre preoccupied, maybe you are reading or you're on your phone, they will leave you alone. If they try to chat with you and you don't want to chat, they will just leave you alone. But they will greet you. They are always very respectful because they know that, you know, these companies call them and if they get a bad feedback and they get a bad you know, like you give them a bad um, review, it's going to affect their job. So they take it very seriously. But in Ninja, ah, for where? Who are you? 
that you 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 be, you will not greet them or you will not uh, 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 you know you ask them where are you if they are running late or if you can't find them how dare you ask them where 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 are, where are you them, they say the drivers insist that you sit in the front that you must not sit in the back that means you are looking down on them that they are not your personal driver uh, hello excuse me uh, you you are my driver because I'm paying you for the trip. So anywhere I want to sit, I will bloody sit in anywhere I want to sit. You can't tell me you must insist that I come and sit in the front. No, 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 no. If I choose not, as a passenger, it's a contract I have with you. I'm paying you for the service. If I choose not to sit in the front, I want to sit in the back, I will sit in the back. You can't tell me I should come and sit in the front. I've entered some Ubers in London that the driver will ask you, what do you want to listen to? Some of them, you know, they, 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 I mean, some of them go the extra mile. They'll ask you, do you like this channel? Do you want me to change this uh, to this radio station? Would you like uh, soft music? What kind of music do you like? But I hear that uh, in in Lagos, it, uh, for instance, Uber driver, you you won't dare tell them to change the uh, radio station when they are driving you. So if they are playing Akpala music, for instance, they are playing Akpala or they are playing uh, Oliver De Coke. And you, that is not your kind of music. You have to enjoy it for the one hour that you have to carry you. And they will blast it to your eardrums and you cannot say anything because they are not your personal driver. So you can't tell them what to do. That's so, my friends in Nigeria were telling me that so many of them frown at it if you tell them to change the channel. They uh, change the station, the radio station. They don't want to change the radio, radio station. You have to listen to whatever they are listening to, whether you like it or not. Uh, taking instructions from a uh, female passenger, a young, beautiful female uh, passenger gets in their cab and you start telling them, uh, you start giving them instruction. Maybe you are going somewhere, you don't want to change your direction, wherever you want to go somewhere else. They say they frown at it, they find it as a personal insult that you are insulting them. Don't you have respect? How can you be ordering them, telling them what to do or giving them instructions? Most Nigerians have superiority complex in a way that they feel like they have so much attitude. Look at this driver now. Giving this woman grief, I don't understand. Maybe it's the sun that is blasting the heat that goes into people's brain that they will just be acting as if they've lost their mind. Harassing this poor woman because he said, How dare he say you didn't greet? Is it me that I should greet you or you are the one that you should greet me? When you go to restaurants, you go to places where they offer service, you see waiters, they will greet you good evening, good afternoon, with a smile, good attitude, so that you can come back. But this one, no, 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 no. It's you that have to greet him after all. Uh -uh. This is his office. So how dare you come to his office and come out <laughs> and come and be rude to, and disrespectful to him because you didn't, for, for not greeting him. That's very, very rude. No, he can't greet you. You can greet him. I don't know why the driver acted that way. Maybe because she's a woman or he feels, you know, that uh, uh, she's beneath him. Or he just feels that, okay, she uh, wants to treat him because he's a driver. You see, that's the attitude. Like I see, I know that they were both angry on this video. But I don't know what may have happened outside this video. But based on the in in interaction in this video, I see nothing wrong in what this lady has done. This man is just simply impossible, being very obnoxious and rude to this passenger, which she shouldn't do. Because if you do that to me here in this country and you work for a, comp a, a, a company, I'm going to make a, ser a serious complaint. I will follow it up. If I make one complaint, they don't respond. I will make another complaint. I will be following it until I ensure that, you know, you receive some sort of training. I don't want you to lose your job. I wouldn't go that far. I'm not vindictive. But I will want you to receive some training so that you receive sense to know what is customer service. So you know how to treat people when they get into your cab. And you will not be obnoxious and behaving like somebody that... <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what to say. Anyway, let me just leave it here before I start ranting this evening. Yeah. So the problem of Nigeria is not Nigeria. It's attitudes. People's attitudes. Some Nigerians' attitude. You know, they have, you, some people have so negative attitude that they believe that hey, everybody's a big man. You see people staying in a rented apartment and they have a driver. This, my friend, that sent me this uh, video was telling me that his neighbor, the, the neighbor in their, in their compound, there is a four, four flats. One of the neighbors that live in a rented house has driver. The man has driver. The woman has, the, the wife has driver. All because having a driver is uh, puts you in a kind of uh, I don't know social class I don't know what that means that young people cannot drive themselves they need to have a driver and they are struggling to pay the drivers oh my god they are struggling because they cannot afford it but because they want to say ah my driver will bring you that uh, cloth my driver will bring you that uh, drink my driver will so that people will think I don't know what so they will go and employ drivers that they cannot pay.
You see, all of you that are saying is the leaders, is the leaders. I'm telling you, this driver, if you put him in a position of leadership, he would do worse than Buhari. Yes, that is just the truth. May God help our country. Amen. I'll talk to you guys in my next one. I'm just going to leave you here. Just a quick one. Um, Yeah. Ensure that you click on the subscription button and also hit on the bell sign. So you get a notification whenever I post my vlogs. I'll speak to you in my next one. I love you. Bye-bye. It's VQ. Original Batman. Lego.